Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from EasyAutomation.com and welcome to another section of our advanced automation testing of modern application with c .net course. And in this section, we'll be talking about CI CD with GitHub Actions. So, so far in our course, we have been developing our application in such a way that we started running our application as a container, the Selenium Hub and the nodes as containers and also we started running the test which can talk with these applications which are running inside the containers as well as the Selenium Hub and then we also tried running the test in parallel and we also containerized the whole application something like this so this is how we did so far in our course and this is something which is completely working for us until our last section of this course and this way we proved that we could able to run our whole system including the application services and test integration test within docker containers as in microservices and also we spinned up the whole services using the docker compose file but the next challenge come is how we can do a continuous integration and continuous delivery system using github or azure devops or jenkins something like that so in this section we are going to be running this whole container service and tests in the github action workflow and ensure they are running as expected to make the ci cd operation for us and this is something very very challenging because we have everything in the docker compose file and running straight away in the github action is going to pose us some of the challenges which we'll be discussing starting our next lecture of this course and how are we going to achieve all these things we are going to first check in the code in the github repo make the docker compose to be executed in the pipeline export the generated test artifacts and publish the report and as you can see here we are going to talk about a new platform or a system called as the github repo github actions so the prerequisite of this course is going to be a bit expanded than compared to the actual topic of the course itself i assume that you have a complete understanding of the github actions and i also assume that you have an understanding of shell scripting because it is going to be a plus while you actually are going to be using with some external files which we are going to be using heavily in this particular section and again i am not going to be talking about the github actions basics like how to set up a repo how to create a workflow and what is workflows how to work with jobs steps runs and matrix debugging and stuff those things are not something which i'm really going to be covering in this particular section because this course is already 15 plus hours of course and covering about github actions is going to be an overwhelming experience rather i recommend you to watch one of my other course which i already told you while developing the containerization of application the same course which is understanding docker and using it for selenium automation in this course i already have a complete detail of how to work with github actions talking from the github actions basics and how we can also do a ci cd of selenium tests microservice containers with github actions so it has all the details in a very very nitty gritty details but we are going to be doing pretty much exactly the same kind of operation but just that the minus is you will not have the basics of the github actions and few more details covered in this particular course rather we are of course going to be covering everything in this course as well i will also quickly show you a demo of what we are going to be building at the end of this particular section so basically once we check in our complete code we are going to be start running this particular code on the github actions pipeline and you will see that i have made almost a lot of changes already and you can see that currently it is building as well so what it's doing is it is running a complete tests for us over here where it is going to start running our containers and then it is going to not only just run the containers but also it is going to run the application the api as well as the database containers along with the selenium grid setup and then it's going to run all the selenium tests for us with the selenium grid setup where it's going to have the selenium hub nodes like firefox node as well as the chrome node and whatever node that we wanted it's going to run all the tests for us and then it's going to publish the test reports for us which is going to be something sitting within our github pages which we can actually see and at the same time you can also see that while the test is being executed it is also going to produce an artifacts for us like github pages over here 
this artifacts is something you could download it and you can also see what this report is going to look like so you can see that there is an artifact.tar file and if i open this artifact.tar file you will see that there is going to be a living doc.html file for us and this living.html file is nothing but the execution result or the report of our test which has been executed and the same thing is going to be happening even within our github pages as well so if you go to the uh, github pages which is going to be something you can go to the repository and you will see that there is something called as github pages so if i click this you see that it has been deployed just now and if i click this view deployments you will see that it's going to show you 404 error but we're going to sir, type this living doc.html and if you hit enter you will see that it is currently deployed within our github pages as well which means it is currently available online for us accessing the reports of the execution that is just happening so these are the things we could able to achieve much much simply using the ci cd pipelines using the github actions with the whole amazing way of running the containers within the github actions workflow and this is what we are going to be achieving at the end of this particular section if you are quite excited like me let's get started from our next lecture with a problem statement of what is going to happen if you're just going to run a docker compose file